My heck is the view. Yeah, one Ooh. of the prettiest places ever. Looks good, looks good, oh, yeah! No! <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, that's real nice. Keith, uh, the sun's setting on an absolute stunning course. How good? I mean, this is the best it gets out here in the golf world. One of the prettiest courses ever, definitely in the world. And uh, just to have a perfect afternoon like this, fun round, playing out here with Matt Ryan, just a little friendly match before the AT&T Pebble Beach. It's, a, it's as good as it gets, really. It's a little perk playing with Big Matt. Uh, it must be pretty <laughs> special, and you're giving him a bit of a hiding at the moment too, I see. Yeah, he hits it pretty far, which is uh, not really used to his advantage right now because it's pretty far sideways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about 2019. It must have been pretty special to get that big W at the Honda Classic and beat off some big boys along the way. Yeah, that was fun. Um, it was something I wasn't really expecting going into the week. I knew I was playing well, but yeah. to finish in that kind of fashion with Brooks and Ricky is, I mean, it still kind of gives me chills thinking about it. So I've just been trying to do it again since, and yeah. it's hard. It's harder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that is right. Yeah, it would be a nice place to do it this week, wouldn't it? Seriously, this is just, it's almost like the West Coast home of golf. I mean, you got, you got St. Andrews in Scotland, you got Augusta Nashville, and you got Pebble Beach. Really, this, nothing really holds the candle to those three. The sixth hole, which uh, for me, I remember this from Tiger Woods Golf on the PlayStation. Yep, absolutely. Was that a bit of you back in the day? Absolutely. I just, I, I mean, that's funny. A lot of the courses I've played now today on tour is I've played it first <laughs> on the Tigers yeah. game. So we need to bring that back. Well, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Little wee challenge between all the boys, maybe yeah, at, exactly. at every event. A little match play, <laughs> it'd be nice. And uh, that progression must be pretty satisfying, mate, to slowly crawl your way up to a victory, and then you can build on that for 2020. It's a few New Year's resolutions, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, it's kind of one of those things that once you do it, you want to do it again so bad. Yeah. That the pressure on yourself, honestly, becomes more. It's, it's. You would think the other way around when you won, you can kind of relax and you, you know, you've achieved a goal. But yeah, it was so awesome, and it was so, <laughs> you know, the adrenaline and this, the, this the tournaments you get into and all the perks from winning. It's like, I want to do it more and more. Yeah. So much more than I ever had before because I didn't know what it was like on that side of it. Yeah. Oh, well, we've made it to your approach shot on this whopping par five, but it looks like you're on the beach, which is better than the water. Yeah, um, it is better, but <laughs> um, unfortunately, <laughs> my opponent is right in the smack middle of the fairway. Yeah, well, I'll go sledge him and <laughs> you play a good recovery for us, all right? Okay, I'll see what I can do. All right, let's go get into Matt. Geez, that's a big cliff. That's taller than you, eh? Uh, I think he said the tower. The tower. Not the tower. Okay. Good luck. That's why they put it there. <laughs> oh, wow. That's quite majestic. <laughs> Sorry, mate, my sledging didn't work. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. Yep. Wow, nice key. It came out awesome. I just pulled it a little bit. Now tell me, life outside of golf, uh, for those that might not know a bit about you, rumours are you don't mind a dabble of wine and a bit of oh, food? Oh boy. I don't know where he got that info, but he's not incorrect. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's funny. We, we were talking to some guys and what you do off the course. Well, most of us out here, we're out here because golf was our hobby when we were a kid. Exactly. We'd yeah. go to school, we'd play and practice in the afternoon, we'd play yeah. on the weekends. And then you'd play in college after class, and then all of a sudden you turn pro, it becomes what you do every day. Yeah. And so we'll play three, four weeks out here in a row. Yeah. We need our body needs a break, our mind needs a break. So you go home, and you're like, what do I do? Like I've my whole life when I had off <laughs> time, hobby. I played golf. Yeah. Now when I have off time, I'm trying to do something other than golf. Yeah. So um, I definitely like cooking. I definitely like going out to eat. You know. Having a glass of wine here and there is it is what it is. Like, I don't know anybody that doesn't like that, right? Well, but. a lot of my weekends, uh, I play golf, which is also when I have a lot of wines. <laughs> so do you have any tips for maybe playing after a few wines? Uh? You know, I, I, unfortunately, I, there's two things that don't mix with me. It's golf and drinking. I just don't know how to do it. Yeah. If you ever give me a beer on the course, I will, my game will drastically just deteriorate. OK, so. well, that's, that's a note for if we yeah, ever, exactly. ever have a match on the line. My heck is the view. Whew. Yeah, one of the prettiest places ever. Well, after that walk, I'm probably going to have to leave you to it. I've had a few too many wines in the past, which is, <laughs> shows that I'm certainly not an athlete. All right, where you go. Go on. Oh. Go on. Oh. 
This is for the win, though. A little 4 3. Looks good, looks good. Oh, yeah! No! <laughs> it almost came back out. It's for Brian Snedeker tip. <laughs> good fun. Give me some of that. That is brilliant. Boys, thanks for joining us. Thanks good for to the chat. Mate, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, very nice to meet Keep you. Keep coming back. Yeah, thank you. Keep coming back at him. <laughs> All right, hey, All right, good thanks, stuff. Buddy. Appreciate thanks for your time it. and good luck this week at Pebble.